guys. We got one we're going on here now where the customer says the system is out of refrigerant. So this is a apartment complex, very large apartment complex here in Salisbury that we do a lot of work at. Uh, they give us a lot of change out work. Um, but he called in, the maintenance guy called in and said the system's out of refrigerant. So not really sure if it's one of the installs we did or if it's an older one. But uh, either way, we're going to hop on it and see what's going on, see where it's leaking at, and see if we can get them taken care of. Let's go. I hear it. A bunch of geese, but I do hear it. Drop a little piece of solder on there. It should be good. Fix that wire too. <clears throat> about 170 on him now just to check and see if we got it and I do believe we do pump her up a little higher About 309, 308 on her. That's dropped a little. I'm not sure if that's it's just settling out or what, but it hasn't went much much below this for a while. Alright, we got the pump. Okay. We gotta fix this wire.
take that up some too. Just a little more secured in here. I don't like it on that hot gas line, but Let's see what I can do about getting it secured better. Alright, so I tape the wire up good, then I put a zip tie this capillary tube here and then another zip tie around the wire to hold it to hold it off with the tube some so that'll prevent another rub out later and i got her all buttoned back up it's still pulling a vacuum um well it cut off now but last i checked it was down to 700 i'm gonna go take a lunch uh and then when i come back probably charge this baby up buddy I don't got nothing for you I'm sorry where's your mate oh you're looking to eat some of their vegetables you ain't dumb oh, I'm sorry I won't scare you I've got nothing I can give you. And even if I did, uh, they'd probably come here in droves to run you off. All right. Not bad for a service vacuum. Not bad at all. All right, charging her up now. It holds just under eight pounds holding charge. We got a pretty long line set on the third floor. I'm gonna think it's gonna take at least nine. We're gonna go ahead and put eight in it for now and then start it up. Well, they're hungry, I just don't got nothing to give them. Sorry guys. All right, we are on and running. gonna drop I'm probably gonna need an at least another pound into this bad boy <clears throat> All right, I got 11 pounds in it so far. and it's coming around now there's really no load it's like 69 degrees in the house it's like 72 out here Does. We're working towards almost 8 degrees of sub -pool, and that's what it called for on the data plate with the TXV. Yeah, guys, looks like we're there. I mean, we're actually a little cold on the suction line. Superheat's a little low, but our sub is at 10. I think we're good here. We're about to button this baby up. Yeah, guys, that one, I'm really surprised it didn't trip the breaker. I mean, it shorted out enough to blow a hole in the copper, but it didn't trip the breaker. So that's weird. Uh, or maybe it did and they reset it before I got there. I don't know, but um, I was able to diagnose it, fix it, and get it all back and running on the same day. So I had a little bit of time today to, uh, to be able to do that. Uh, you like to a lot, anytime you got a torch evac charge, I like to do a minimum three hours. Most of the time I'll quote four hours, but always a minimum of three hours because you gotta at least allow an hour for your vacuum. Uh, no matter how big of a vacuum pump you got, no matter how tight you think your system is, you're gonna want at least to pull a vacuum for an hour. So, um, and plus an hour's worth of work. Can you get it done in two hours? Probably, but you wanna make sure you allow three hours for something like that. And uh, we got it done in three hours. And I even took lunch and dicked around a little bit when I first got there because we couldn't find the unit right away. But we got them back up and running, guys. Superheat was a little low, but I'm not too concerned about that. There's no load um, outside or in the house. So um, I thought it was running pretty good. Four-year-old Goodman heat pump. But All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.